Hi, welcome to Stress Solutions University's 15-minute hot seat call. And within this time, we're going to be giving you some quick tips to be able to resurrect and maintain solution-based thinking. It's a good one today. So hang on with us for at least 15 minutes and gain the skills to, to be able to go out and apply it into your life and to see the transformation happen from the inside out. I'd also like to encourage you to check out some stress relief gifts at my main website, laurenemiller.com. If you go to the store in the upper right hand corner, you'll find a variety of options. Uh, boosting people's mood, memory, as well as giving people the skills and techniques to be able to maintain that sense of inner calm, clarity of focus, and ultimately, which today's focus is, solution-based thinking. Uh, all of the calls are dropped into Stress Solutions University, and if you're not already a member, I encourage you to explore that possibility at stresssolutionsuniversity.com. When you join, you get the opportunity to sponsor in for free someone you know going through the experience of cancer, recently emerged from the experience of cancer, or someone you know who's a wounded warrior, either emotionally and or physically. So today's call is a good one. Three quick tips to help you access your solution based thinking. First and foremost, let me give you a little insight as to what's going on in the brain when the solution-based thinking is shut down and not accessible uh, for, for you to access on your feet. When you perceive something outside of you as a threat in any way to your sense of worth, value, or capability, biologically, there's a restriction. And it uh, restricts in your gut which oftentimes you'll use the expression, I feel like I was punched in the gut by this. Many times we'll use words to describe what we're experiencing through our five senses. And actually that's what's happening. There is a restriction within the gut that, that actually flushes the blood to the limbs so that you can run. And this used to serve us a long, long time ago uh, when we were in the jungle, <laughs> running from the lions and tigers and bears. However, the jungle is not outside of us as much as it is inside of us and our perceptions. Again, as I've often reminded the listeners, this world is full of creative solutions. It's simply your perceptions that limit your ability to tune into all available options. And so as you have this restriction in your gut, it also takes place in the brain. The frontal cortex, there's a restriction in the blood vessels shooting the blood to the back of the brain, again, activating the 50 trillion cells in your body when, it, when you're under attack or a lockdown, so to speak, uh, mentally, mentally speaking here, the blood again rushes to the limbs so that you can fight, flight, or intrinsically or extrinsically implode, and uh, as well as the, the freeze that some people get. People will use the expression, I felt like a deer in the headlights. Well, that's exactly what's going on. Biologically speaking, you, you get fixated. In fact, your eyes are connected to brain function. So when you feel frozen and unable to come up with creative solution, a powerful place to hang out is actually looking up to the right or to the left. This is your visual creativity spot when you look up to the left you're accessing visual creative new thinking. When you look up to the right, you're accessing past visual memory of, and, and I'll speak to this again as we continue uh, on in this 15 minutes. I think we have about 10 minutes left here on how important that is to access and use your eye movement to relax the brain. So your goal when you are feeling restricted and your ability to tune into a, available solution-based thinking is to move back into the front part of your brain responsible for executive decision making or solution based thinking being able to think quick on your feet when you're perceived when you perceive life as threatening one of the quickest ways and the first step to access this solution based thinking is to reconnect to your biology so as soon as you feel stuck in coming up with a creative solution, 
whatever your perceived threat is, whether it comes in the area of health, finances, or relationships, which are the three archways through which the serpents of fear, doubt, and worry seem to slither in and cause that biological reactive response of threat and lockdown, is to reconnect to your breath. When you feel threatened, you begin to breathe with the shallow sense of, of feeling as if you, you have restriction at your chest area as well as your throat. Many times we'll be restricted from speaking our truth uh, when we're lacking the solution-based thinking and the executive thinking aspects of the brain. So breathe deeply as quickly as possible. A uh, recent colleague shared a very powerful technique. I'm always looking for the fun breathing techniques. Uh, there's one that I shared a couple weeks ago that's, that's accessible to members on the Stress Solutions University site. It's a very powerful breathing technique. Here's another one. When you want to bring in the oxygen to the brain so that you can access the solution-based thinking, simply change the way you breathe. Simply, as soon as you feel the freeze or the, dzz, the disconnect in your body, Body and you feel the restriction, and it is a restricted feeling. It shows up different in, depending on your earth suit and where you store the restriction. Most of the time you'll feel it in your chest, your throat, and your head. Simply change the way you're breathing. I've been, I've been practicing this myself for, for quite some time, and what I'll do is, is do quick breaths out when I feel the restricted breathing because I feel like I'm under attack. My castle's under attack by a perceived threat outside of me. So I'll <laughs> breathe out quickly. Make up your own. Have fun with us. The, the more levity you can add to your responses to life, the quicker you're going to be able to return to that expansive place in your brain that's responsible for coming up with a quick solution and tuning into all available options to your perceived threat. So change that breathing pattern as quickly as possible as soon as you see a negative thought uh, slither into your mindset and shoot you to the back of the brain and cause the fight, flight, or freeze mode. So the breath is number one. Number two, Detach from assumption and expectation and the need for certain outcomes to know your worth, value, and capability. I'm going to repeat this statement because it's worth storing this in your memory. Detach from assumption and expectation and the need for certain outcomes to know and to value your sense of worth and capability. Throughout your day, you are giving power away. These are referred to as energy leaks. It's literally as if you're punching a hole in your energy system. When you give another human being power based on their response to you, their words to you, to define what you're capable of. And we're doing this all, all day long. We're making assumptions and expectations and conclusions based at concluding whether or not we can or we can't. I sent out a tweet this morning that says, God believes you can. Do you? This is your invitation to remember that all things are possible, that, you, that this is your God-given natural state of being, to be able to be quick on your feet to come up with creative solutions. So my invitation to you today is release your addiction to making assumptions, expectations, and the need for certain outcomes to remember your worth, value, and capability. What does this thinking do? It allows you to stay in the frontal cortex. It allows you to access executive thinking and solution-based thinking. It, it helps you to relax in the remembrance that, yes, I am okay, yes, I am capable, and yes, the world is full of solutions. I simply, by my choice of perception, need to access the appropriate option at this time. So as the response to the freeze is to resurrect confidence in your ability to come up with available options to your perceived threat. Positive uh, reminders like this, detaching from assumptions and expectations, uh, to know that your worth, value, and capability will help you achieve that throughout the day. Watch out for those those holes that you allow to be punched in your energy system when you give power to another human being's response to you to define your worth, value, and capability. Number three, pull from timeline successes. And imagine that you do have the solution 
You simply haven't tuned into it yet. And this is, this is part of reprogramming and timeline therapy. So in, in the restricted time that we have today, let me give you a, a little tip. Again, as I began this call speaking about how powerful the use of your eye movement is to get you out of the deer in the headlights freeze, look up to the right. This is responsible or the midline to the right. When you, when you look up to the right, or the midline to the right, like looking to your side to the right, you're accessing your auditory, auditorial memory as well as you're opening up the portals in your brain to access your visual memory. Use this to your advantage to tune into past success. Now, you've had plenty of practice in earth school. You've come across blocks before, and you're still here. So obviously, you figured out a way to move through perceived threats successfully. Use these files to bring levity and hope and options to your present moment perceived threat. Basically, this is how it looks. When you feel the threat coming in, whether it be health, whether it be finances or relationships, simply close your eyes. You can do it with your eyes open or closed, but look up to the right. Move your eyes around. Look to the midline to the right and look up to the right, kind of diagonally to the right. As you're doing this, I simply want you to float above your timeline and access the files of a similar feeling that you're having in the moment that's causing the freeze. Oh my gosh, I can't come up with a solution. I'm, what's the solution? What's the solution? I feel steamrolled by life. Find one piece of information from your timeline to contradict your impoverished view of reality. And as I've mentioned before, it's like the domino effect. This is how the subconscious mind works. When you find one piece of information that contradicts your perceived lack of solution-based thinking, you literally can flip your ability to tune into an available option that is restricted because you are shutting down your remembrance that, yes, in fact, I've done it before, I can do it again. You can help access these memories by looking up to the right or the midline. And so uh, another uh, quick way to, to, you can combine these techniques actually when you're really feeling steamrolled by life and uh, whether or not it be at work or at home and you're under the gun to, uh, or under pressure to uh, come up with a quick solution, simply change your breathing patterns and roll your eyes one way and roll your eyes the other way. What this is doing is getting you outside of that primal brain, that back part of your brain that's uh, responsible for the fight, flight, freeze mode. It's a primal response. Breathe deeply and simply saying uh, the, the more, the more technique in neuro-linguistic programming basically say the more I'm panicking because I can't come up with a solution, the more I'm able to access my memory. I've done it before. I can do it again. So this relaxes you back into your God-given natural state of being. Your soul knows you can do this. Your soul knows the solution. It's simply tuning into it and speak to yourself that way because the spoken word, whatever you proclaim out loud, actually can shift your programming subconsciously. So you have a few tips this morning that you can apply this week. I know that this is a busy week for, for many of us, being in that it's the week before uh, Christmas. So uh, enjoy practicing connecting to your breath, detaching from assumption and expectation for the, and a need for certain outcomes to know your worth, value, and capability, and pull from your timeline success. Imagine that you have the solution and guess what would that look like? This will help you resurrect the, the options and the pieces of information that perhaps you're deleting as you're in that brain freeze, literal, literal biological brain freeze. So this interview, as well as all of the past interviews, will be uh, dropped into Stress Solutions University this week for members to enjoy. And again, if you're not a member, I invite you to explore StressSolutionsUniversity.com. Join us and gain access to over 100, 100 videos, audios, and, and constantly refreshing uh, the, the content, relevant content on the site. For those members, I, I encourage you to, to check out the interview we recently dropped in on a conqueror's mindset, uh, interviews that ignite your belief in the possible. Uh, it's a truly transformational interview and very timely uh, in light of uh, some of the, the recent 
news stories that have been um, uh, unfolding this week. So enjoy your gift of life, and I look forward to connecting with you soon.